the importance of giving feedback when faced with resistance. So when we come across the resistance as leaders, here's a couple things we need to do, right? People are resisting essentially the process. So how do you meet that resistance? You follow the process. You go back and what I'll tell leaders is make sure your stuff is correct first. Have you acknowledged emotions, right? Are you acting as a leader improperly on your emotions? Because if you are, boom, you just found the probable cause for the resistance because you're just acting without thinking. So that's one thing. But let's say you're going through that and you're aware and you have behavioral guidelines. Wait a second. Did I tell that person that that's not a behavior that we expect or it's reverse? If I haven't, you've just probably found where your resistance is as a leader, fix it. Okay? But maybe you have. Okay? So then you go through the plan. What's the situation? What do I want to accomplish? I am receiving uh, resistance. Now, you can't hold someone accountable if they don't know what they're supposed to be accountable to. Inside of this planning process, is it clear to them? Have I made it clear what they're accountable to? Have I been consistent in reiterating that to them? Okay? Have I held them accountable? Accountable is asking somebody to explain their actions. That's it. Consequence is different. Okay? Why are you doing that? Why did you do this one thing? You may get a good answer, you may get a bad answer. Okay, but that going through the process of seeing how to flush out the resistance is what you do. Now, you have gone through your process, you've done everything, you've held them accountable, you've asked questions, the answers are bad. There comes a point where it goes from their fault to your fault, okay? Because you will get the exact behavior that you tolerate. And if we are getting bad answers to our accountability question, why are you doing that? Over and over and over again, well, that's simply what you're tolerating. So then we have to start moving towards consequence. Okay, so at some point, we do have to move towards consequence, but we yeah. check ourselves as a leader first, and that in and of itself is feedback. One of the things I'll often do is, you could be in an IEP meeting with, about a learner, and that person doesn't agree with you, and you suggest something, but what I found is that you just you you go back to the common objective that you're both trying to the mission. achieve. The mission. Yeah, you circle yep. back and say, hey, you know, I believe if I remember correctly, we both have the same exact objective. Our, our objective is for that learner to get into the least restrictive setting. Let's just reverse engineer. And the reason I suggested this and you disagreed is this. But I found that when we go back to the common uh, mission or objective, it often works out. It's, and that's why you know, the, the planning process as a leadership tool, just as you described, is invaluable. Think about those meetings that you've been sitting in and you thought you were going to be talking about one thing and all of a sudden you're off in a 90 degree direction. Think about that conversation you're having with somebody in your family. The way to get it back on track is, hey, what are we trying to accomplish here again? I thought we were trying to accomplish this thing. Yeah. Everybody could get behind that. Yeah. <laughs> oh, that's right. Yeah. Look, if we need to talk about this other thing, that will be our mission next time. Exactly. Simple as that. Yep. Another thing is just think about it from a behavior analytic standpoint. People, why do they act? Why do they behave? Because they receive reinforcement mm -hmm. for their behavior. The question, so it's either going to be negative reinforcement or positive reinforcement. So in, order, in other words, to, to encourage that person to engage in a behavior that you know is in their best interest, remind them why it's good for them. So I think it's important to to remind that person why it's good for them. Mm -hmm. And I feel that, uh, or why, it's, why it adds value to other people. Maybe mm -hmm. it's not about them, but the person needs to know that it's a good idea to not be resistant because this is how you benefit from it. This is how the learner benefits. Here's the value offered. Yep. So just reminding them about what's in it for them.